Hi friends, my name is Patrick Zach and I am here to talk to you a little bit online today uh, and then hopefully give you some encouragement by the end of the video, but um, it's been a little while since I've seen you online and, and the reason is that um, I've had to take a step back from our online content. Uh, it's just been overwhelming at times and uh, my hope is that uh, we can reach folks uh, for uh, the sake of the gospel uh, through our online platforms, but um, ultimately <laughs> uh, a lot of that responsibility falls on me. So um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a balance between um, doing our online stuff faithfully and then uh, also not getting burnt out in doing so. And so uh, we're going to retool how we do our online content here for you. My hope is, is that uh, we can take a look at uh, what we're going to do here in a moment, our uh, weekly uh, midweek moment, where we take a look at just the verse of the day, and we talk about it for a moment together, and then uh, ultimately get back to uh, our sermon supplementals, which serve as a, in case you can't be here, uh, moment for folks at home. Um, I, I hope to get back into that ministry soon uh, but ultimately one thing that you can do to help me out is to make sure you share you like you comment this post um, just make sure this post gets seen because ultimately online is for folks that are either shut-ins or can't get it here uh, in terms of our midweek moment it's for everybody but in terms of our Sunday content um, I would rather see you in person so uh, you are welcome to come to uh, Trinity United Methodist here in Winfield at 845 is when service starts here or uh, up the road at Emmanuel UMC in New Berlin. It's the only church in New Berlin that's not on the main drag. Uh, they start at 1015. So uh, your verse of the day uh, for your midweek moment uh, comes out of the book of Habakkuk, which uh, isn't typically a book that we go and visit, but there's there's a lot of good things to be had here. I use verseofthedate.com to uh, go different places throughout the Bible that um, maybe I don't, I don't typically go to. So uh, Habakkuk 3.19 reads, The Sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to go on the heights. Now, uh, I don't know about you, but as of late, as uh, the summer season starts to kick off, uh, I've been leaning on God's strength quite a bit as of late. Uh, there's a lot of changes and a lot of demands uh, for uh, our family, right? Where the kids are just so active and they, they want to go out and they want to be everywhere. And um, so so there's that. And then also summer brings about great ministry, uh, ministry ministry goodness gracious ministry opportunities but um ultimately uh we won't see the the fruit of that experience if we lean on our own strength uh we, we got to lean on the god who offers his strength to us for his glory and uh i want to hear from you maybe down in the comments how have you been leaning on god's strength as of late where have you seen that happen in your life what's a god moment this past week that uh, you can kind of woot woot uh, to God and give him praise for, uh, for, for for being the God that's ready to give you his strength. Until we meet again, friends, I hope it'll be on Sunday for our sermon supplemental. But uh, until we meet again, uh, blessings to you and have a great day.